So here are the basic steps to solve a linear first order, first order differential equation. Uh, so first of all, make sure you recognize that you're dealing with a linear first order. So you have this de derivative plus some function of x times y equals some other function of x. So then identify the f of x and r of x parts. And then you want to integrate f of x to generate the integrating factor, this piece here. So that's the key piece right here. Okay, and then we want to plug it into our formula and integrate. So here we have our linear first order differential. So we have this derivative part. We have something times y. And then so our f of x is negative 1 and our r of x is 3 to the x. So using that negative 1, we generate our integrating factor. And our integrating factor is e to the negative x. And then we just plug it into our, our integral here. So once we set it up like this, all, all that's left to do is integrate. So essentially, we've just started with a, a complex, complicated form to a, a, a simpler form that we can deal with. Okay, so we're going to end up with y e to the negative x is equal to the integral of e to the 2x dx. Okay, integrating that, we end up with y, and I'm going to move that e to the x to the other side. That becomes e to the x, and the integral of this is going to be e to the 2x over 2 plus c. Okay, so there's our, our integral form. And we can, we can actually put this into you know, our differential equation, our slope field generator. And we can actually put this into our slope field. So for example, let's say that we have initial point at 0, 0. We can actually calculate C. So we can say there's a point at 0, 0. We plug in 0, 0 for Y and X. Okay, so to get 0 here, we're going to end up with 1 times 1 half plus c, so c equals negative 1 half. Okay, so then our generalized for this point, the specific solution for this differential equation becomes e to the x, e to the 2x over 2 minus 1 half. 